In this lesson, we just went to check the document that was parked in the previous one. And for this, we are already connected and we will use an app uh, that we have in Accounts Payable, which allows for changes in parked journal entries. So let's start this tile. Well, as we know, we need to enter our company code, the document number, and the fiscal year. This is just to correctly identify the document and let's just click continue. At first everything seems just like any other document that we have uh, parked or even like uh, when we post very similar. Uh, of course we can modify some of the um, uh, values, maybe even the amounts or the accounts. Uh, the tax code because this is a park document it's still not uh, part of the financial statement so we can definitely modify but um, uh, what what's really important uh, for this scenario is the third tab which is the workflow tab so let's click on this one and as we can see we have all the data uh, for example which user uh, uh, entered this document uh, what transaction was used uh, the date even the hour minute and second but what's um, really interesting is that we also have the information about the workflow control so as we can see it's um, the document was saved as complete um, it's a still required uh, a release is still required uh, and that's also because we don't have a check checkbox here for the release status with this, um, we know that the next step is that someone needs to approve the, well, check the document and approve the document. And that is something we will show with um, in the, within the next lessons. So we just um, close this up and we invite you to keep learning with all of our trainings.